Okay, good evening ladies and gentlemen. This is regularly scheduled meeting of the Sun, uh, South County Emergency Medical uh, Board of um, Oversight. Oversight. Uh, it is uh, September 21st, it's a Thursday evening. Let's call the order at uh, 6.04. Um, Kip will not be here tonight? No, no. he's not here tonight. Kip okay. should be here, but... And I talked to Bob Ahern and he had something come up, so he asked me if I could just uh, fill in for him. So Bobby won't be here, so we have four members here. Um, so we have, a, uh, tonight we could just overrun Sunderland and Whiteley, we could outvote Deerfield on everything. All of a sudden, the masses go in here. <laughs> but that, that, serious. That, that, that being said, um, <laughs> I, I, I appreciate the fact that Kip feels like he, if he has to do something else, he can take care of it. I, I yes. take that as a sign of. Uh, Right. Good stuff. So yeah, confidence. I, it's good stuff. It, I, I think it's good stuff. So, uh, Zach, you want to give us your uh, staffing report or your uh, monthly report, please? Yes. Uh, we'll start with staffing. Um, just it's training season because it's summer, right. and that's when we do all of our training. So, um, one of our paramedics, Gary Ponce, he actually went down to Connecticut to a three-day course. It's um, I forget the exact term of it, but basically it's he received training on how to provide self-aid to himself and other emergency responders um, in like a, a act of violence or something like that. So heaven forbid we had a school shooting or something like that. Um, the training was a joint EMS and police uh, thing where they work alongside each other. They know how each of, each of them operate, what their focus is on, um, and they um, share their knowledge about how to stay safe, how to treat life-threatening injuries, um, and tools and tricks for that. So uh, he got to roll around in the dirt and the mud and uh, play with that stuff. And then I went to a three-day training where I learned how to uh, run an emergency operations center. So while Gary was doing that, I was pushing papers around. Actually, Carolyn S. was there as well. So he's certified in that. Um, rescue now and I'm certified in running and planning an emergency operations center so I just want to say Zach it was wonderful he, he actually was the operational group and I was in the planning group so I think we maxed um, our benefit to the towns um, by covering a couple different yeah. things it but great. it was really worthwhile and I appreciate Zach being able to participate because I think he picked up quite a bit uh, moving on, we had uh, just uh, a highly emotional call, just uh, the nature of the call involved a child, um, a kid who died, and um, that happened a number of weeks ago, and we activated the Western Massachusetts Criti Critical Incident Stress Management Team, which is a group of volunteers who are trained in that. They come from emergency services, either retired or currently working, um, and they're a resource. They actually. Um, they do two things. One of them is the actual debrief. It's a confidential and private meeting just for the people that were involved in the call where they discuss the call and share their feelings. Um, and uh, we discuss coping mechanisms for stress and then also give materials to bring back to our families so they can identify those coping mechanisms and, and how to deal with it. And they're also a resource for you know before ever an event happens. So healthy living and, and things like that. So. We're thankful that the Western Mass EMS Council organization um, has that as a resource for us. Um, and then I've been conducting some full-time staff meetings recently. One of the things that came up was um, our current uh, schedule rotation that we've had for the past three years. Um, and just as our call volume has been steadily increasing, there were some concerns or some points that were brought up about the way the rotation works. So, Working with them, they made some presentations about what scheduling shifts they would like, some um, evidence-based information from other services, and we're going to make a switch in the end of October to um, a fixed weekly schedule. So everybody's been assigned um, a specific shift, a specific day, um, every week. And so that'll provide them con some consistency. It's not going to have any effect on our impact shift or our call staff or our per diems. So everybody else, it, it'll look the same. The community won't see anything different, um, except maybe for some better rested uh, providers. 
So uh, part of the thing was it actually increases the time off in between shifts, so they're not coming right back to work um, right away. So we're doing that. Uh, we've got the hard knocks exercise still planned for October. Um, that is to benefit the Massachusetts Search and Rescue Task Force. They've been having their hands full with the hurricane response. Um, also, the hospital is planning a concurrent exercise to meet their regulatory requirements. So I'm working with them and FERCOG and figuring out uh, what exactly our involvement is going to be. Uh, but that'll be fun. Uh, equipment, our radio system is at least 10 years old, over 10 years old. When, was, when did it roll out? Do you remember? It's been probably 15 maybe now. Probably. Yeah. Um, and when it rolled out, it was uh, for cost reasons, not the cream of the crop, not the bells and whistles, understandably, but it's, it's certainly showing its age now. So there's a radio committee in the county and they're looking towards okay, what's gonna be our next move? Part of that is we've been testing the 800 megahertz system, which is a statewide, state-owned system. The state police use it, and in Eastern Mass, a lot of the local public safety agencies also use it. So I coordinated with um, the public safety agencies, Deerfield, Sunderland, Waitley, and kind of figured out exactly what areas we had concerns about um, as far as radio coverage goes now, so we could test the 800 megahertz system in those areas. I think Sunderland has their testing coming up uh, specifically this weekend. I don't know if Waitley's already done theirs. I think, I'm not sure. I don't know. I hit a couple of the specific spots in Waitley um, and then we used GPS, GPS mapped everything and, and kind of the reception issues. So at least, you know, it's so preliminary, but now that there's some there's some hard evidence that the radio committee can take back and kind of <coughs> weigh their options. Uh, let's see, there was a, some leftover money in the Deerfield Rescue Association account. Um, so that money was actually spent recently um, from that association to update um, and bring all of our scoop stretchers and all of our ambulances um, to the same standard. So they all operate the same way. Previous to this, we had three different scoop stretchers and they're designed to do something kind of technical and each one did it in a different way. So now all three are exactly the same, the training's exactly the same, um, and, they're, and they're modern. There was some money left over there, so it went to um, buy a new Stokes basket for technical rescue um, in, our, in our area, and that's gonna go on the, uh, be transported on the South Deerfield Fire Rescue Truck, which is the rescue truck that responds to emergencies in the three towns, so. Um, the Rescue Association thought that was a good use of the funds, and I don't disagree. The facility, um, groundbreaking happened this morning, which is neat. We didn't get to go with our shovels? No pomp and circumstance. Not allowed. Yeah. Oh, we shouldn't be talking about I'd it like here, really. Fix, I'd like to fix that, uh, that one line you have here, too. It says town officials purposely, you know, between different county officials purposely tight lift, it's actually non-existent. Okay. So we that, that'd be great. Sure, yes. So I said the communication between Deerfield Academy and, and the town is non-existent. Thank you. Remember, right. yes. remember the town, none of the town should actually have any input on what this it's thing not. looks like. No. Right. It could, no be, it could be a five by five cement wall. Correct. Style. Correct. So I was just so, as surprised as everybody and delighted when they started. Even though I doubt highly that that's the reality that it's not happening. You, but <laughs> at least pretend here on camera. Yeah. <laughs> um, they, uh, as I said before, they asked a lot of good questions, and I, I have confidence that they did their due diligence and research. But you're right; we have no idea what we're going to be, what, what we're going to be getting. Um, but I, my phone was blowing up this morning from the on-duty crews when that excavator was brought right. in and they started moving they dirt around. So, so they don't know if really the facility, they could just be moving they, dirt around. They could they just be moving dirt, dirt around. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 could be, it, it could be Union 98 in practice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or it could just win the hockey rink. Let's hope not. <laughs> um, let's see. And then uh, the last thing on here, which uh, I've got a number of uh, supporting things here, is the issue of our billing and what are we doing with I, and forgive me for not knowing the nomenclature, aging accounts, aging bills, bills that we haven't yet. Accounts receivable yet to be paid? Sure, that sounds great. So, so 
So we bill out for the services whenever we transport somebody. Um, we bill for that service, which is typical. And uh, obviously with any bill, we don't always see, especially dealing with insurance, that money right away or ever. So this is from Deerfield EMS before into South County EMS, you know, the deal is how do we approach this? How do we deal with it? I've worked with Wendy Foxman, Brenda Hill, who's the town accountant in Deerfield, um, David Zamoyski, who's been representing Deerfield EMS um, and those old accounts, as well as Comstar, our billing company, to kind of figure out what our options are um, to help better inform our decision on how we're going to deal with it. I made a neat little flow chart, and it just details from start to finish how we bill, how that works. Um, and in this case, it starts with an emergency response. Uh, we only bill for patients that we transport to the hospital. If it's an intercept, then we have an agreement with the agency that we intercept and we actually, they pay us directly, they bill the patient. Um, so the rest of this flow chart <coughs> is for patients that we transport. Um, the first kind of hiccup in that is sometimes we get things bounce back from Comstar because information is incomplete or inaccurate. We answer those every single day when they come in. I shouldn't, that, they come in maybe like two times a month for a call, but when they come in, we answer them, we give them the information, we clarify things, and we send that back to Comstar. Once they have complete and accurate information, that's when they send their bill out. And right now, the way it works is Comstar sends, for anybody who doesn't pay, um, or there's a balance due or something like that, Comstar sends three letters, or three bills, I should say. Um, the first one, then one at 30 days and one at 60 days. At 90 days currently, they send out a collections notice. Um, and beyond that, right now, nothing happens. Um, so I've broken down below this. There are some options, right? So at that point, people who still owe money have the opportunity to either apply for a repayment plan um, if they want to pay their bill in full over a extended period of time. They can also fire, file for a hardship and... So, so, so Zach, yeah. when, when we send out the first notice, should, yeah. shouldn't they be offered a repayment plan at that point? Yeah, so part of this instead is... Instead of waiting for the three? So this is part of the discussion I wanted to have with you. Um, okay. In here is also a copy of... The, this is a sample collection notice. Yep. Um, and that scribbling is my scribbling um, on ways that the language might want to be changed. Those are just my thoughts. Might want to be changed? I'm reading the first sentence and I don't even know what the organization is there is being referenced. Sure, right. This is so this is a, a sample collection. My my scribbles though, like the language in here is Do you have extras? Or is there uh yeah. Oh okay. This no, is a sample that was created by who? This is from Comstar. This is Does Comstar know who its client is? This for for Deerfield Ambulance, this is a Deerfield Ambulance. This is a, a, an old one. 5117. But no, this is, I'll check on that. My, this is given to me as a sample letter. So, But it clearly was an actual letter sure. generated on May 1st, 2017, provided by Deerfield Ambulance. Right. So this no, may no. have been for a a what? There's a call on bill from way back? Yes. I, and I don't know. That might all be of date of service. Oh, 5117. No, 5117. Yeah. I'll, I'll check. Does that mean we put on the paper? I, I thought you said you weren't going to say anything to me. Didn't you talk to me just to say that? <laughs> 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 When it's clear that there is enough I know, I know. action out there that wants to disregard the fact that we are South County EMS. South County EMS. Yeah, they, they exactly, should, exactly I assume they could correct that, Comstar? Yes, Please. yes. That really needs Clearly practice. their database um, is flawed. I, I will tell you the other documents we received from them clearly has South County EMS. Remember, I can go ask to so, see those, so don't be fibbing. I got them right here. So, the the language that that I had scribbled there just seemed 
to be a little bit more, please work with us. You know, if you feel that you would qualify for a hardship or want to make a payment plan, please reach out to us. And, and these letters are going to people who don't have any form of coverage? Not necessarily. This is for anybody who still has a balance due at 90 days. When we were signing off on bills that were never going to get paid because the insurance, different insurance mm -hmm. paid different percentages. Yep. I could be wrong, but we never wasted the money to try to collect from the individuals because they're saying, I'm covered by insurance. It's not my problem right. that Medicaid or Blue Cross or Tufts or whomever only covers X percent. So I, I gotta be honest, I'm wondering whether this is a, a, a fool's mission. This, this would be like if your copay was $50 and you never paid your I, share. I get that, yeah. Yeah, um, if, if Red, or sorry, if Medicare only allows for X number of dollars, then that is, un, under our billing, we account for We're that. We're not we billing the individual for that. For the okay. difference, okay. yeah, no, we don't. All right, yeah. Um, it's, um, Maximum allowable based on what they're insured. Whatever, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'd, love to, we'd love to get 100%. Yeah. It just doesn't matter. Um, on the flow chart on the very bottom, these were just, based on our discussions, <clears throat> ideas to consider about reasons why we would take a certain action or not. My goal here is to make this as objective as possible so we have a standard that we would be applying for anybody who has money that's due to us. Um, and obviously our options are take no action, ultimately just write the money off, or only report to a, a bureau, a credit agency, um, to negatively in fact, uh, impact their credit rating, or send to a collections agency, um, which Comstar is one and we can arrange that. Um, but those are the decisions about under what situations <coughs> we would want to follow that. I like right. the fact that we're letting people know that they can talk to us. Mm -hmm. And and also that we do follow up. I mean this your flow chart exactly it looks like there is follow up. Yeah, the there's bill. there's there's follow up from Comstar. Um, there's been just some discussion about whether South County EMS employees should be making those calls at sixty days or at ninety days about hey you owe us money. Um, Personally, that makes me a little nervous about the, those jobs. We had an incident actually where we had to call the police because we responded to a medical emergency and the individual was upset about a bill that he had received and was taking it out on the staff. Um, and I would prefer to at least separate those roles that you are either... Well, I would agree. As the physical yeah. agent, why isn't the town of Deerfield sending out these? <clears throat> Just like they'd send out a reminder about a dog license. Well, license. I, I, I think the discussion was <clears throat> while the guys are on shift, if they're not if they're not on runs, and they, they could have follow-up telephone, you know, you could have follow-up telephone calls by the guys while they're on <clears throat> shift instead of... That's why Northampton has about 90, the high 90s in percentage collections. Because the because they're being called by the EMSs themselves. Make sure they it, have, it's I mean, not an of thing, Jonathan. Yeah, uh, it sounds know. odd to me because they're not trained collection people. They don't. No, but uh, sometimes it's inaccurate or in, um, complete information. And, there's. I mean, there's a lot of that. If the issue is incomplete information or inaccurate information, no problem. You know, if, if the address was incorrect and our <clears> staff <throat> could check a street listing or, or do something like that, follow up, call a phone number, just double check. Not a problem. When it gets down into the the billing, the money you owe us, money, those types of questions, that's where I start to get a little wiggy about having our I'm Zach on our medical response to it. I agree, Zach. Maybe you could just find out more details from Northampton. Yeah, they have they have somebody whose forty hour a week job is I mean, it, is focusing this on is that like stuff. This is like a clerical person. Uh, the know, short, yeah, we had yeah. About, we had talked about that. So. Yeah. Um, okay. I mean, we 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 pay the town of Deerfield how much in 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 fees as the as the fiscal agent? It strikes me that that's part of the responsibility of being the fiscal agent is to maximize collection. If that's not a function of the fiscal agent, I'm not sure what is. Is it? Well, I would. I mean, it's all administrative tasks, isn't it? I mean, it's got to be. 
Otherwise, what, 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 what is the MOU saying? What is it? Is that? Was that detailed? I'm sure it's not detailed. As detailed no. as that, that's my guess. I mean, I don't, I don't see that that's a problem. Um, yeah. If if we get make sure that I mean I I don't want the inaccurate because you know your your people you and your people know the <coughs> incomplete or inaccurate documentation kind of stuff. You know you can know how to figure out the software. Right. But if it's actually a collection collection thing, I'm, I mean I'm not adverse to that. We, we had talked about a clerical person for, you know, Zach and, you know, depending on what but, happens. But it shouldn't add to our cost. It's just, we should be saying the town, the town. The town always could talk, the town could always, the, the fiscal agent could always decide to, to send it to a collection agency. Right. A collection, and, 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 a collection, and a collection agency gets a percentage of what they, Absolutely. Of what they get. Right. And, and, that, and that could be the simple thing. The thought. I think what was originally brought to the, the, the Board of Oversight was that because we have guys that are there, they're working, to, it's man 24-7, yeah. especially when they go into the, their own facility, they'll have access to phone, phone banks, whatever, that may be prudent to have them make the calls. We didn't, we didn't, ha we didn't have the discussion if it's appropriate to have that done or not, by right. the, but we had, that was brought, that it, was, was, it, was, it was a concept that was behind that. Yeah. So, I, you know, I really haven't thought of it one way or the other. <coughs> no, we haven't. We, we really have to discuss that. that a bit. Yeah. But we should. I think yeah. we should maximize. We should maximize our. We should maximize our, our, our return. Yeah, you know? absolutely. On the staff, I agree. But if 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 there yeah, be yeah. there's a skill involved there, they right. may not have yeah, that yeah. skill. That's absolutely. That's absolutely. my only and, and it it is kind of a. I mean, it's an awkward situation. It's, it's, it's right. Be careful. So I, I mean, physicians don't it. call the patients and say you're late in your payment. They have. Right. Well, that's what I'm concerned about is how the paramedics feel about it. It's not really in their job description either, you know. I mean. No, no, no. I, I think we were mostly concerned about Accurate the, the, the documentation. Right. I, we hadn't gotten down to the, you know, you the collection. And, and I think, Tom, you're right. If the paramedics' responsibility mm -hmm. is to go through that data and make sure that the data is accurate, mm -hmm. then when the data is accurate and we know that someone truly is in, in, in deficit of... of, of then you then it transfers. Then it transfers. Right. The and then Deerfield can do whatever they choose as part of their responsibility. Yeah. And and maybe you can just we'll we'll, we'll try to figure out what Northampton does because you know we want that percentage. Yeah. And, and I and I think and, and I'm sure the auditors of in Deerfield or whoever, <coughs> I'm sure they're probably telling them we have to have some method of of forgiving. Yeah. I mean that's. Yeah. Building that for a certain period of time, there has to be a policy. What we did is we used to just have our our library our library director for all those big book finds for people that don't return the <laughs> book. But when it's, if if somebody did, we would have we'd have our ambulance director would bring us a list and, and wouldn't even be not by name, it would just be by numbers and say and and he'd say he'd recommend that you know he tried the collection the collection these people have hardships they can't and. Please vote, and we vote, and we forgive the. Yeah, we just have to work out. So, so let me let me ask a question, and I think I know the answer. But I'm not sure. How is this different than collecting dog fees? If somebody's blatant their dog fees, we take them to court in Whiteley. Really? Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. We don't. We, we don't. We don't actually take them to court. We have the to civil process. We, well, now for us, it's a civil process that's handled by the town clerk. We we we. We you could. They, they get a court. Well, oh, that's right. No, you could. You do take them. To court. You take them to court. Yeah. And they and guess what? They pay. <laughs> and they and they pay the court costs. So it's not it's not an added cost to the okay. town. How soon do you do that? Oh, so, uh, several months. Lynn could tell you more okay. more specifically than I. But you know, they get they get one notice. They get two notice. They get three notice. But eventually, and and they're told. And by the way. This is no longer a five dollar dog license. This is now a twenty five dollar dog license yeah. because of late fees. But eventually, right. they get they get asked to, to to have a have a little tete a tete with the judge. Well, I'm sure we can work something out, Jonathan. It's just we hadn't gotten that far. I mean, should, yeah, we'll figure it out. I mean, the, what Deer, we sense. used to do before is Deerfield Ambulance, was periodically, like a couple times a year, we would just decide. To write it right, we write it yeah, up. We, we, we should try to, to, we we should yeah. try to collect so, what we can. So, but now that it's a three-town thing, we kind of have to have a right. yeah. more yeah. separate thing. I'm so, I, I, I just, I just know a, after talking with 
Northampton that we want to get that same success rate, collection mm -hmm. rate. So we'll just, if Zach could get a little bit more information, then we'll sort something out for next meeting, okay? Mm -hmm. That I, I, we would recommend. I, I just, it can't be, you know, all that much of that more than we're talking about right now, really. But I, you know, I, I, I feel like we, just just we just have to vote to agree to do it. That's mm -hmm. all. And it will be a formal procedure in the notes. Yeah, can you make sure that's on our agenda, please? Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, and, we'll get, you know, well, and, discussion. and this is exactly why I'm doing this because we need to have a process in place and why I created the flow chart so we can start yeah. wrapping our head around Perfect. what are we looking at because yeah. I was even struggling without this this extra information so oh it, it's easy to it's easy to say we'd have the, the on duty paramedics or staff make those calls yet I'm thinking back in one of my previous jobs if if the, the company didn't pay, what I want, what I want to be making the telephone calls to say, hey Edward, you haven't paid, well, you need to. Pay. That, that's a tough. That's, that's yeah. a. I, I I can't tell you how against I am having his staff making those calls. I, I just think it's a yeah, no it, win. It, it, you're right, I, but I think what we were trying to get them to do was oh, to okay. have the documentation. Uh, which I already guess. happens. I guess. So. I totally understand that, and they can still do that. That's the easy part. Yeah. Right. But then they can, then it's an electronic file with email, walk it over with a thumb drive <laughs> to, to but, whoever. But, but a large percentage of those ones that are not collectible is because it, there's misinformation. So, and that does take time to track down. Right, and, that and they the, know the, what right. they're looking for. Oh, I agree with that. They should and be doing so that. And so they can do that kind of work. They should be doing that. And that, you know, makes sense. Why don't we create a system? Yeah, no, that's On right. paper. And, 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 and what we'll do is Zach and I will work something out with Wendy and Brenda and come up with something for next month. This is a little bit more final than this. Okay. So Zach, you have two two goals for next month, right now. A is to bring a pop up bill to show to Mr. Mr. Edwards that doesn't have your bill on it. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, that's not an unreasonable request. I understand. Okay. I'm not disagreeing with you. Right. <laughs> I agree with you. And, and, well, and, and well, it, you know, it's, it, it, it's funny because. Um, it, how things happen in your life, you, you never know how things are going to happen. And I just happened to have an opportunity to be in the uh, Cooley Dickinson Hospital the other day and, and talking to uh, one of the nurses who happened to be a resident of Deerfield. And she says, well, we got one of the finest uh, ambulances in South County ambulance. I said, well, you just better make sure that you go to town meetings and, and let them, and let, let them your know selectmen that. know about right. that. Right. And, and finance committee. Right. You know. Um, and, and I admit, part of the reason that I took notice of that was, if you recall how many months ago when the person who did the regional study came in here, that report was littered with the same sort of... Leftover. Not leftover. I would, I would take issue with that, Trevor. Yeah. I, I think that it's purposeful planting. Really? Yeah, I do. And, I, and call me, call me a, a cynic. Yeah. Call me a conspiracy do, theorist, <laughs> uh, but I I, I, that I worry about that because one time is a one time, two times is a trend, three times is a. <laughs> I I, 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 I would but I, I would hope, I would hope, in the very near future, we can put this all this stuff behind us and yeah. and look at the great things that South County Ambulance does. Every day, so yep. proud of this and 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 uh, I go back to where we started um, in the same room. Remember Gary? And we had people with all kinds of different opinions and about working and not being able to work or whatever. And for where we are in that relatively short period of time mm -hmm. to where we are today, mm -hmm. to have a system that's working as well, mm -hmm. and to have three communities that can sit down and discuss sometimes in higher turn higher voices than we need to but discuss our concerns um, that's a reflection on on the three towns and the people involved because you should have those discussions absolutely
I, I and, and so I, I I would say hopefully hopefully very soon we're going to make it so we aren't going to have those discussions. It'll be something in the past, and I think good things have. You have to get past. You have to get past our growing pains, and I think we are. So, so the two things is is one is the uh, Zach is mm -hmm. is a policy, okay, and maybe some idea from Comstar what it would cost for collection mm -hmm. agents, okay, and knowing how much we do we're not collecting right now would be good also. Yeah. Okay. Thank um, you. Just. I just wanted to go over a couple things that Zach, to follow up on Zach said, um, when he was talking about outreach and stuff, um, and participating in things, uh, November 6th is the EOC drill for um, the, our EDS mm -hmm. group that um, is required by the Department of Public Health, and it, it's going to be hopefully only a couple hours. The main homework is to make sure our, our volunteers and stuff, the contact information is up to date, but Zach is going to reach out to Conway. He, obviously, he's going to participate, especially with his new training, but um, he's going to reach out to Conway to make sure Conway is pulled in. And then um, uh, today, we got noticed that um, free cash was certified. It was $412,382. Um, for, South, for South County EMS? For South County EMS. We don't have like 900000 no. Damn. Um, what we're doing is we're very good. I mean, we're in good position. This is our hundred thousand operating reserve, our fifty thousand plus a little bit. I don't know what in change. Whatever we set aside for our furnishings of the EMS building, and what we're setting aside for capital purchases of you know the new ambulance. So right. we're in very good shape, and we're in on target. So, so what I'd like to do um, is invite the chairs of the three town finance committees to next month's meeting mm -hmm. and to ask them what they need, to understand what they need for information from us now instead of getting, so when Zach starts preparing the budget, he has that in mind. I think, I think one thing that um, I mean, I don't have a problem with October, but I think November, honestly, we might be better to give Zach a little bit of chance to uh, run a draft by us first to see if we agree with the capital set aside, because, you know, we've been collecting money for the ambulance, and he has his purchases out on capital. I mean, I kind of want us to have looked at, at the capital set aside before we had with the finance. But if you want to bring the finance I, in and I, say I this just, is what we're thinking at the same time, that's okay too. I, I, I just think so, sometimes when we get, I, I think sometimes when we start to, when, when it gets later into the budget process, okay, I'm not asking, I'm not saying that we're going to have everything. I'm asking what do they specific, what do the chairs, after going through the process, what yeah, do the chairs fine, of the finance committees think? There is there additional information that we need? less information, more information, or do they have specific questions that we can start thinking about now instead of in April when, or the week before it's town meeting. Right. And, I, and, and I, I, just, I just like to put out that invitation to them. And, and, and maybe they will come. Maybe, maybe, they don't, maybe they'll think it's too early. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can, I don't think you personally, I think now is the time to get those, that you get the groundwork done. Oh, no, that's fine. I mean, we do have our certified numbers. Um, I, and again, I'll sit down with Zach, and we can sort out the set aside for capital. I think it's really important. It is, but but you, you understand. Talk about the I'm not saying that we, we're not presenting anything to them. We're asking oh, no. them what they want from us. Right. I know, but we need to understand where we are. Correct, but we also want to know where they want to go to. Okay, no, that's fine. That's, I just want to make it clear that we're. We're, we're, we are clear where we are. Right. We're not going to give, well, this is not an information session that we give to them. This is, that it's, they give uh, it's, it's for us to listen to them. Right. And, they want, and they'll appreciate that. The one question I have is that it could, because of three different systems that are in place from each finance committee, mm -hmm. it could get, confusing is not the right word, but it, it might not be a, 
I, I guess my question is, does it make sense to have all three of them in one meeting or set aside an agenda item, an agenda for each of the next three meetings to <clears throat> have one in from each town? I get that delays it for the one town that's on the end, but I just worry that because they may not be entirely talking the same language, it could get complex. I just bring it up for, I don't know. Well, I mean, it's all the same in this little county, so. Yeah, but what, what, what different finance committees, how they operate is gonna, is gonna differ. It just, it just is. But I, I'm okay either way. I just wanna make sure we discuss it so we know what we're looking at one way or the other. Yeah, but Jonathan, how about if we have them all come in like Tom says, because it's just informational. That's fine. And then, and then have them come back one at a time uh, to mm -hmm. make sure that, that we have the accurate information. I don't care one, care one or the other. I just want to okay. make sure that we discuss all the scenarios before we make a decision. And if that's what people want to do, and they don't think it's going to be that yeah. complicated, then that's fine. I just want to make sure that we have at least have the conversation. And again, I just want, I just want to outreach. I'd rather, I'd rather start, I'd rather, I'd rather get it done now instead of us all of a sudden we're, we're in the little corner office in Deerfield pushed and, 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 and we're, we're talking one way to Deerfield, one way to Sunland, a different way to Whiteley. And we really should, we should, we should be now, because we've gone through the process a few times, mm -hmm. now what we need to be doing is, is we, we should be, uh, the machinations should be gone and we need to be kind of um, more more on point with our presentations and we should be presenting what they want to hear as well mm -hmm. we're, 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 the, we're the so I want to know after going through the process Deerfield what 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 didn't work for you some of them what didn't work for you and maybe different things is my point. that and I'm saying that's fine but right. but we all need to listen right. and we, they, they need to I think it's just important for them to listen to one another is for us to listen yeah. and, and it's not for us to be we're not talking to them we're listening um, as part of that, kind of as part of that conversation, but it's a little separate, I really do think we also need to get on agenda really soon the issue of assets. Um, we, we, what do you mean assets? The conversation when, when we signed over our ambulances. Yep. Um, if by the worst scenario you can possibly imagine, this organization no longer existed, mm -hmm. Whitney and Sunderland wouldn't own any assets. Deerfield wouldn't either. Well, Deerfield as a fiscal agent would probably have a little bit more. And, I, and I'm not saying, I just Jonathan, think that we, Jonathan, need, we Jonathan. need a system in place. We, we just do. Okay. You, 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 know, you, you do, I understand. I understand. But what I'm trying to say is I want to get back, I want to get past that. And, and, and I understand what you're saying, okay? But at the same time, you put something together and make a presentation. Be, and that's the easiest way to do it, I think. Don't didn't you? We, didn't we think there wasn't? I mean, I thought we were thinking last time there wasn't much left, right? I mean, there, there is. But what happens? Time, I guess my question is, what happens? <clears throat> you always need to be prepared, and I don't think we're. I, I don't think I'm saying. Oh, okay, so I'm, I'm going. I'm going to go out on. I'm going to go out. I'm going to go out on the limb right now. Okay. This is way out there. Sunderland pays X percentage. Um, Whiteley pays X percentage. Um, Deerfield pays X percentage. For the assets. Okay. Then the assets are divided up. 51% go to Deerfield. 32% to whatever the thing is. How, why does it need to be any more complicated than that? Whiteley does not own, Whiteley does I, not own an ambulance any longer. I understand that. That blue truck no longer exists. I, Tom. Right? Right? It's not as simple as you're saying. Why? What would be more, why wouldn't it be? Because if you, basic math. Yeah. And again, I don't want to fight with you about I'm, I'm not fighting, but I, I just want to say why it's complicated. Because, because, because dividing physical assets by proportionally doesn't mathematically work because let's just simple math say there are three ambulances that means that in a, you can't divide an ambulance no, you can you can divide the cost of an ambulance you can, yeah you can, and you can buy out okay but it should be something should be in writing is my point 
and I say it's an easy, and I say it's an easily written. Okay, the, 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 let's get it written. That's my point. I, I, and I would say, <laughs> if, if, if in the, the value of South County is put somewhat, I, I'm sure your auditors or, or somebody puts a value of what South County owns, yeah, right? They should. And let's say right now it's $2 million. I'm not saying I, it is, yeah, but, I know, I know. but I'm saying it's $2 million. Yeah. So quick math. Deerfield would get a million dollars of worth of assets. Sunderland would get about six hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of assets, and Deerfield uh, well, would get three hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of assets. Okay, but and I guess my point is, it should be written down how those, what this formula is for dividing assets that aren't just cash; they're physical pieces of equipment. You get the appraisal. Right, right, then you get the uh, you get your percentage, and if you want to walk away with a whole ambulance, you got to buy out Sunderland and Deerfield. And, and fine, and that, my point is, let's get that in writing so that the three towns can all adopt that as accepted policy. Okay. I don't understand why you wouldn't. It, it's it's no different than than a than a, than a okay. company okay. that's. I mean, it's, it's not to me. It's not a big thing. Okay. Because I because I don't because I, I we 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 have, we have, we have an assigned we have an assigned and your we, value is X right and and if it's not quite enough to cover an ambulance and you want an ambulance then you I have gotta, to buy out the percentage. I got to tell you, I'm I, I'm surprised because I, I'm not the one who brought this up initially. I don't know who did. I don't remember, but I'm not the one. I didn't have the foresight to think about it, but someone around this table did. Must have been Gary. He's always and, a poor thing. And now oh, I'm man, the one who's getting problem. beat up about it. <laughs> and more than just me was interested in having this resolved. And, and the conversation took place when we were signing over the assets to the town of Deerfield, because the town of Deerfield owns the assets. South County EMS does not own the assets. The town of Deerfield owns the assets. We signed over. We, we, we can do that. Okay. I, I, so I, I, can, I bet you I can write that in a paragraph. Well, I, you probably wouldn't agree with it, but to me, it's no, very that's, simple. That's, that's not fair. Why? Your comment about you probably wouldn't agree with it. No, because because to me, it's a very simple thing. We're, 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 the, the three towns got in this together. We we start we 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 brought everything into the same. We brought everything in at the same time. And and, and you and someone could say, well, geez, our ambulance was better than your ambulance. No, we're not saying that. But ah, I, and that's right. And I'm, I agree with you right now about that. So, but so just. But we have worked really hard to make things that think that, that everything is as clear as possible. Mm -hmm. We have purposely never simplified anything because anytime you simplify something, you leave questions unanswered. It, it, it's just the way it works. So we should understand, and, our, and, and, and everyone in our towns, we owe it to everyone in, the, in our three towns, to make sure that we continue to get the support that we should, that it's clearly defined how this process works. We clearly define how we were going to set up the process. We should clearly define every single element of this thing. We just spent an hour, no, I, we just spent four, a half an hour talking about, about collection stuff. Mm -hmm. Rightfully so. So to just say, well, something as 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 big as as what to do with a tremendous amount of dollars in assets shouldn't be just a two minute conversation. Okay, and, and here's my point: the the thing that we talked about a half an hour for was on the operation the operation of South County EMS, and what you're talking about is dissolving of South County EMS. It is. And and, and those are two separate it's, things. Okay. But they're, they're very different. In my, my opinion, they're very different things. Okay. You know what? I, I'm sorry I brought it up. I'm not the one who initially talked about this. And I'm now the one who seems to be carrying the flag. And I know. you know what? Let's just move on. Tom, well, Tom could you just um, I will. I will get something. It's something not. It's, I will spend hours. If, 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 I will spend hours writing something up. No, so that no, no, no. Just would you write something? Your thoughts on the piece of paper that we can run by um, 
Uh, yeah. So I, I, I will, have I will, I will, I will make sure it's more than a paragraph because I don't want to insult anybody. So I will, I'll make sure it's, it's pages long. It takes hours to read. Just something that she can look at and say, is this realistic? It makes now? sense. Okay. okay. Yeah. And hopefully, we'll never use it. That's right. Well, the intention is never to use it. Correct. So. But I, mean, we'll, I see what you point. I mean, it makes sense to have it detailed. So we'll detail it. Yeah, I, 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 and, and again, I, that's fine. Well, and the only other thing that I was going to mention is that, for what it's worth, there is a web page on the Whitley website for South County EMS currently. And if Zach reaches out to Mary Ellen in our town office, he can learn how to add things of importance to that website. But great, I figured I'd take it upon myself. Is it you use virtual town hall? Yeah, that's what you use. Yeah. So, well, we're, um, yeah, we're, but I would encourage you to reach out because we should have a website, yeah. and we can create our own URL because it should not be a weekly URL. We can cre create some kind of EMS or whatever the URL is that's yep. available, and it'll just point to that place. It's already done, but let's maximize it so people can see what we're doing. Great, nice. But I'm done. But well, that would be a wonderful place to post our minutes. Yeah. All the information that you give us every month, Zach. Have access anyway, to so. it. Yeah. Yeah. So the people can look at it, look at the numbers. Great idea. We'll figure something out. Anything else? I'm done. All right. Motion. Motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? Yeah. The motion made and seconded. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 We have a four-zero vote. <laughs>